Greeting, explorers. You've been whisked away by the enchanting time warp, landing you right into story time with Dr. Apples. Here, tales are spun by the magical hands of our very own witch doctor, blending humor with the uncanny. Gear up for a storytelling experience where peculiar meets the playful. Today is a tale as mesmerizing as Dr. Apple's collection of whispering crystals. Ready, set, let's go. We now join Dr. Apples in his laboratory. Greetings, human folk and eavesdroppers of authority. You're early. Tis I, your beloved magical maestro, Dr. Rapples, here to entertain you. You've caught me in the midst of a delicate operation, calibrating a quantum flux inducer for my newest alien houseplant. It's comfortably seated on my treasured composite wood-like stand. Oh. All this talk of wood has jogged a memory of a story, one I simply must share. Have you ever heard of the Whispering Woods of Wonders? This extraordinary place brims with stories aplenty, lies just beyond what seems like an ordinary spot. It's where whispers hold court. So, why not grab a snack? Something vegan, in solidarity to me. Or not, you meat eater. I'm about to delve into the heart of these chatty woods and divulge their secrets. Picture this a semi humid autumn morning. The kind that gently nudges you about the benefits of a good bath later, with the world bathed in a golden hue like it's under a sepia filter. At the corner of a busy intersection, there I was, in my best dressed yet again red, three-piece tailored suit with matching Oxford apple red shoes. I was walking past the yellow franchised diner on a quest to find my elusive TV remote. It has a habit of teleporting when I'm not looking. My senses were momentarily captivated by the tantalizing aromas of hot bacon, golden brown waffles, and vibrant yellow fluffy eggs. But my plant-preferring conscious made me reimagine a feast of fluffy plant waffles and tofu bacon sizzling to a burnt crisp. Yes, a perfectly parallel palate pleaser. Then, an intriguing rustling sound from the back of the building. Like whispers in an ancient library drew my attention. There, behind the everyday facade of dumpsters, a small portal shimmered into existence. It was like watching a star being born from the cosmic dust. Bursts of iridescent light swirling into a vortex of sparkling hues. This was the entrance to the Whispering Woods of Wonders. Six. I knew the name because there was a wooden sign that had the title hovering around it. It was an unassuming threshold tucked away in a place where magic and mundane meet. I was certain this was the gateway for it was much too early for the neighborhood jays to be about causing shenanigans. Can I hold your umbrella? They were known to be quite the punctual bunch. As I walked within the mysterious portal, the mundane world of the woods of the diner morphed into a vibrant tapestry of enchantment. A curtain of overgrown ivy stood in front of me. With a gentle push, I stepped into a world where reality is but a suggestion. The whispering woods unfolded around me. 
a realm where each tree was a venerable storyteller. Underground, a patchwork quilt of leaves, each whispering its own ancient legend. The air in the whispering woods was alive with the symphony of nature. A chorus of rustling leaves and the soft, earthy whispers of ancient trees. The scent of damp moss and rich, fertile soil mingled with the spicy aroma of pine, creating a perfume that spoke of age-old secrets and timeless tales. The ground beneath my feet was a tapestry of textures, from the soft, springy moss to the occasional crunch of a fallen twig underfoot. Hello, buddies. Chirp, chirp, chirp. As I ventured deeper, the light filtered through leaves in a kaleidoscope of greens and golds, casting shadows that danced with every breeze. The touch of the bark and trees was as varied as the trees themselves. Hey, hey, watch it, you perv! From the smooth, almost silky surface of the birches to the rough, grooved embrace of the ancient oaks. Excuse you. Every breath I drew was a feast for the senses. The cool, fresh air filled my lungs, carrying the faint, almost forgotten smell of rain from days past. The gentle whisper of the brook added a soothing undertone to the forest's melody. Its cool, clear water a refreshing contrast to the warmth of the sun-dappled glades. As I ventured deeper into the whispering woods, entranced by the greenery, a mischievous sparkle caught my eye. A small glowing orb dancing through the air. In my typical fashion, I reached out to it. But oh, with a single touch, the orb exploded into a cascade of colors, transforming the nearby ground into a choir of singing roses. I proceeded to step on them to restore order. A little too much excitement for one morning. Let's stick to walking and gawking, shall we? Recovered from my unintended floral fiasco, I soon encountered a figure emerging from the verdant tapestry. Standing tall with the wisdom of centuries etched in his bark, an oak elder with his knotted, sturdy frame and the unmistakable aroma of old books, tugged at my suit. I'm an oak elder. I'm an oak elder, he declared with a voice that rumbled like distant thunder. I know you didn't know that. Since you're here, we need your help to settle a rather Pressing matter. I looked around me and I was surrounded by the tallest trees imaginable. In the heart of the Whispering Woods, a debate was blooming among the Oak Elders and other trees that was as bizarre as it was entertaining. The Oaks, their voices deep and resonant like the sound of ancient drums, were pondering the odd ways of humans. Their black, hollowed-out eyes on their trunks moved down to my eye level and stared at me. It was slightly disturbing. With these ethereal wonders encircling me, I could feel the air thick with anticipation, as if the very trees themselves were poised to pose puzzles that would warp reality and stretch the horizons of my understanding. I hear some humans still debate if the world is flat or round. Why do they toil for paper only to exchange it for houses made from our fallen brethren? It's as if they envy our sturdy bark and lofty branches. Did you hear? Humans feed the cars. 
Did you know humans pay for water bottles? They plant gardens, nurturing the earth, only to wage relentless war against the very nature they invite. Humans wear makeup to scare mirrors. Humans like to blow bubbles to talk to the ocean. No, they talk to fish with bubbles. Yes, what curious dominant species of Earth! And what of the humans who choose to be vegan? Refusing to harm creatures, but still consuming plants. <laughs> Maybe it's just a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Vegans! Uh, all right now. As the oaks and willows brace themselves, their leaves rustling with eager anticipation, it was clear they expected me to sprinkle droplets of wisdom on their curiously naughty questions. I straightened up, ready to speak for all of humankind. Shh. Ah! People adore living in wooden houses because it's the closest they'll get to your towering presence, dear <sighs> elders. The trees chuckled, their leaves rustling with amusement. Then came the question about humans battling nature in their own gardens. I winked and replied, Humans wage war in their gardens because they love playing Lord of the Leaves. Pulling weeds and swatting bugs gives them a taste of power without the inconvenience of being stuck in one spot, swaying like you do all day. Yes, it's true. I don't know. But the final question about veganism caught me off guard. Me, Dr. Apples, a proud vegan. I stammered for a moment, then blurted out with an outlandish flourish. Vegans? Oh, they munch on leaves hoping to absorb your wisdom. They think nibbling nettles will grant them your stubborn weight. <laughs> it's cute, like a redwood dreaming it's a javelin. <laughs> Did you know the tropical trees, ever the gossips, once told us that plants are chock full of ancient wisdom? <gasps> And just between us, those tropical trees also whispered that oaks have a certain earthy aroma. Mm -hmm. What? Like a mix of old brooks and wet moss. <gasps> what the heck? <gasps> what? what? But hey, hey, I don't believe that for a second. After all, who could doubt the fragrant charm of such distinguished trees? Branches quivered in a mix of offense and leafy laughter by the cheeky absurdity of the claim. Oh my god, do I stink? In a display of insecurity, one of the oak elders gestured a nearby squirrel to smell him. Sniffing. The squirrel, obliging and equally amused, scurried along the branches, sniffing exaggeratedly. I gave a wave and walked back the way I came. As I sauntered back to civilization, the sounds of the forest's lively debate faded behind me. Stink. Ah, to be a tree in whispering woods. So ignorant and so boring. And so, just as I left the annoying paths of the Whispering Woods, I'll share a peculiar nugget of wisdom from an oak elder who once said, If a tree falls in the woods and no one's around, no one can help it up. Absurdly profound, wouldn't you say? Ponder that as we part. Our journey together is just taking root, my fellow seekers of the strange. Where will the winds of whimsy carry us next? Until then, this is Dr. Apples, your passive-aggressive vegan friend that bids you a fond and fantastical farewell.
then, just like that, we spiral back from the enchanting realms of Dr. Apples. Our journey through his magical time warp concludes for now, but the wonder doesn't have to end here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a review and stuff. Until our next whimsical adventure, keep your imaginations wild. Dr. Apples will be waiting with more spellbinding stories. And remember, if you find your socks mysteriously missing, it might just be the closet trolls having a bit of fun.